Hey guys, what's going on? The Hobby's here yet again with another video with a new project. Now, I just want to apologize for not being online, for not uploading any new vids recently. I've been pretty busy for like the past few months and haven't really been able to upload and record any new videos. But hey, I uh, just want to give you uh, guys a view of my project for my club. Um, this is what we call the DIY boat. Yeah, so basically my groupmates and I in our club named Do It Yourself Club here in school, we were tasked to do a DIY project, any DIY project that we could think of that would actually serve somewhat a cool function. And so we thought that we should build a boat. And so that's what we did from junk parts or Pretty much from scratch, we were able to build this awesome boat. So I might not be able to upload the build video sadly, but I can upload a video where our group was able to test this boat on a pool. And so I'll upload that separately. Yeah, so let's get into the details of the boat. So the official name of this boat uh, we decided to name it Trash Boat <laughs> in reference to regular show, the episode where uh, Rigby changed his name to Trash Boat and yada yada. But actually, we chose this name to recognize how we were able to build a boat from objects we uh, see as trash and easily disposable. Yeah, so pretty much the base of this boat consists of illustration board. Eh, not very practical since uh, illustration board gets wet easily and soggy but uh, we were able to somewhat coat unquote waterproof it with the help of um, glue gun and actually uh, using paint and some clear coat and which actually helped but actually the most important thing was uh, the bottom where our skid yeah so pretty much we just used uh, duct tape for the bottom of our boat and pretty much uh, glue, glued all the seams together yeah, making it uh, waterproof or <laughs> water resistant. Uh, it works though so I'm happy that it actually works. Now another thing you'll notice is that our pontoons consist of um, plastic water bottles and so pretty much these were recycled uh just took out the label and stuck it to the sides of our base illustration board and you can see here at the tip we have some corks you know from wine bottles pretty much this is because the boat uh at times would tend to tip over and so to avoid that we pretty much glued corks to the tips of our water bottles you know since corks float and it actually helps uh, you you can see that in the next video I'll upload where we actually use this boat. Now on to the more interesting part would be the actual electronics that uh, make up this boat. So here we have our receiver. Um, this receiver is actually um, wireless, wirelessly connected to a Futaba remote which my groupmate owned so I won't be able to show it now because it's with him now and so it's actually a pretty cool receiver uh, it's actually supposed to be used for planes uh, um, so it gives off a wide uh, range for the boat to go around a uh, long distance and it's a pretty effective receiver actually next we have our ESC now, so for our ESC, this is actually like a plain ESC also, so we're pretty much using uh, plain parts. So I don't know if you can read that because it's upside down. Uh, but anyway, uh, this ESC runs from uh, LiPo, I believe it is... Two, two to four, two, okay, two to four S LiPo, yeah. So pretty much we used, uh, for this boat we used the 3S LiPo which my groupmate also has with him right now so I won't really be able to um, show it but here's the connector anyway and 
then pretty much we put the battery here along this area uh, to secure it in place uh, of course our engine would be a drone motor a single drone motor or the propeller and uh, actually uh, we actually did a pretty nasty soldering job but as long as it gets the work done uh, then we're fine with it uh, so it can reach up to quite high speeds however we don't really want to push to live it with the fear that our boat could flip over due to this powerful motor yeah and so if you ask me um, the best part of this boat would actually be the rudder system okay so this rudder we actually really worked hard on it uh, from scratch and um, as you can see uh, we have our mini servo over here that's also connected to the receiver and so you can get operated by remote and uh, here we have our actual rudder that was made from illustration board as well yeah and so um, what's truly spectacular about this uh, rudder is the way it was created especially since the pole used to hold the rudder and to connect the servo is actually a recycled pen I don't know if you can see that a recycled pen and we just um, covered up the top so it's pretty much connected there and it works really great yeah so that was just a quick video of our boat and uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, this really quick video but hey see you next time